Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bumisetti. Today we'll see top 10 Snowflake query based intro questions. Let's discuss one by one. So first question is that what, how to call UDF? UDF is nothing but user defined function. So by using select the function name, if any arguments are there, we should pass the argument. So by using select to function name. Second question is that what, how to call UDTF, nothing but use a defined tabular function okay so select the star from table and the function name if any arguments are there we can pass the argument so see select star from table function name. and the third question is that what how to call procedure so call procedure name so those are working so they can easily call it as function okay call procedure name if any arguments are there we can pass the arguments okay and fourth question is that what how to find the query history. Suppose if I want to find the query history, so we are having a view, select the stars from information schema dot query history. So by this, we can able to find the query history, information schema dot query history. Next one is that what, how to find the task history, select stars from table information schema dot task history, query history, we can able to find the task history, okay. Next one is that what, how to find the copy history? Select star from table information schema dot copy history. I should pass the argument. So information schema dot okay. So task history, query history, and the copy history. So like this way, you can able to figure. Next one is that one. How to find the last query ID? So by using what command? By using select last query ID, we can able to get the previous executed thing. Okay, so select last query id will get the last query id what is the exact last query okay. next one is that what how to find the stream contains data streams are nothing but cdc the change data capture so by using how can you figure out select system dollar stream has data we should pass the stream name so if data is there we we'll get true value if data will get false so it will give boolean data type true or false select them system dollar stream has data okay so what about next question how to find the snowpipe history so copy history and snowpipe history can be found with the help of information schema dot copy history in the copy history we can find the copy as well as snowpipe history if you see clearly we'll get the complete picture of it okay. and the next question is that what how to find the storage of a table okay where you can figure out by using information schema dot table storage metrics by using the active bytes column, we can able to find the storage of tables. Information schema dot table story. Those are those who are working for okay giving interest. This video, this will be helpful for you. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.